Mr. President. Today, I rise to oppose the nomination of Nancy Obudu for President Biden's nominee and appointment to the U.S. Circuit Judge for the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. Now, in a government as divided as ours at this time, we expect to have some controversial nominees that come before us at the Judiciary Committee. We expect debate. We do expect disagreement. But what we should never expect or tolerate is a nominee who has proven herself completely unfit for the role she's asking. Ms. Abudu has shown us that there is no such thing as a good faith debate. She views disagreements over policy as evidence of bigotry. She describes herself as a radical legal activist and has compared her fellow Americans to Jim Crow era racist and endorsed political violence against conservatives. She has stated that policing is, and I'm going to quote her here, the true threat to our collective safety. Hear me out on this. She has said that policing is, and I quote her, the true threat to our collective safety, end quote. She has embraced lawless sanctuary city policies and compared our criminal justice system to the horrors of slavery. These are her statements and her positions. I would be doing a disservice to our federal, state, and local law enforcement officers if I didn't point out the rank hypocrisy of my Democratic colleagues' attempt to force this nominee through during National Police Week. Now, Mr. President, as I said, she feels like policing is a threat to our collective safety. But my Democratic colleagues, during this National Police Week, are choosing to push her forward. She used the significant power of her position within the Southern Poverty Law Center to weaponize charges of hate against her political opponents, all the while covering up blatant discrimination within her organization. Indeed, the Southern Poverty Law Center every year issues their hate list. This should give everyone pause. But perhaps the most egregious example of Ms. Abudu's hostility toward the rule of law involves this very chamber, those of us of each party that sit in this chamber. In 2021, Mr. President, she engaged in a vicious mudslinging campaign in an attempt to manipulate the U.S. Senate into abandoning the filibuster and endorsing a radical overhaul of our federal elections. Her campaign was so full of misrepresentations, and we'll just call them falsehoods, that even some of the most progressive members of her party balked at what she was doing. This is the conduct that the Biden administration is seeking to reward. Justice is to be even-handed. Justice, equal justice for all. One system of justice, not two tiers of justice. We must not tolerate what is happening here, and we must not approve this nominee. We had a great discussion in Judiciary Committee about people that are unfit for the bench, unfit for public service, and the need to make certain that people are fit for this service. Ms. Abudu, by her actions, has proven herself to be unethical, unscrupulous, and completely untethered from any acceptable philosophy of law. To approve this nominee would be to rubber stamp a nominee who 
terms herself a radical leftist activist. It would rubber stamp a radical agenda. It would rubber stamp a activist judge. We don't want that on our courts. And this is something the American people have rejected repeatedly. I yield the floor. Thank you.